Hey y'all, it's Yasmin, aka Shantae Navia, and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year, it's 2024, and we standing on business, okay? Can y'all guess what food I'm about to eat? Seafood, red crab, we at red crab. What we gonna be eating today, and yeah, see y'all inside. Okay, hey y'all. I'm here at Red Crab and we're about to do a QA mukbang. Uh, I only gotta look at this menu because I already know what I want. Is that right? Yes. Uh, may I please get the Thursday special half a pound shrimp no head with um, snow crab. Y'all, we about a bus. But oh, I forgot. This is a QA. This is not just a mud band. It's a QA too. So let me make sure I got mine. I'm pulling up the questions for you guys. Okay, so I wrote down all my questions. Ooh. So I wrote down, I wrote down all my questions, and we're gonna answer them while I eat my seafood boil. Y'all, my food is here. Look at that steam, though. I know y'all see that steam. I know y'all see that steam. Okay, let's waste no time. We're not gonna waste any time. Y'all, look at this. Ooh. Hold on, let me dig in first before I start answering questions. First. Uh uh. No, I actually am. I'm actually hungry. Got to moisturize me. Got to clean up the hands, sanitize the hands. Let me move my phone before. Okay. I'm debating if I should wear my gloves or just eat my like eat with my hands. Okay, now we're gonna say grease. So get right on. Mm. So you're right on. The right on for sure. Maybe I should put the gloves because it's gonna get messy. It's definitely gonna get messy in here. The first question is, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is dying with regrets. Mm. Let me see what we're working with on the shrimp. Let's see what we're working with. See that? Mm. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not really a big fan of crabs, but. <laughs> For the sake of this video. I was like, let me get some crabs. Is it really a mukbang, a seafood boil without crabs, crab legs? So, yeah, that's what made me decide to get crab legs this time. Hmm. Okay, y'all, I'm trying to, I'm trying so hard not to dirty my iPad with my hands. I wish I had someone to. Let me bring this a little closer. I wish I had someone to. Excuse me. I wish I had someone to read like, the questions out for me because this is a little too much. Like. Anyways. Next question. What do you love about yourself? What I love most about myself is how ambitious I am um, and my mindset. But if you had to pick something in the physical, I would say my smile. My smile is so cute. Uh, I'm kind of scared to attack this crab, but let's see what we're working with. I didn't even use this. I 
Yo, I do not know how to use these. Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. So we're just gonna use our teeth. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That works, but Ooh, I don't want to break my teeth. Gosh. Look at that, y'all. Ooh. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Next question. Where do you see yourself in life? So I see myself living an extraordinary. If you guys see me like looking to the side right here, I have my questions and I have some answers written down as well. Anyways, um, chow. Anyway, so, cause what was that? I'm thinking he's gonna have like a lot of meat on there, and it was nothing. Oh, this guy, this guy, a little bit inside. Mm. This is crazy though. Like we gotta do all that to eat to eat the meat in the crab. That's why I just stick to shrimp, sausage, eggs, and corn. For my seafood boil. This is what we're working with with this potato. Mm. Okay. Y'all, this is not just a mukbang. I forgot. It's the QA too. Okay, so next question Where do you see yourself in life? I see myself living an extraordinary lifestyle, a life many are scared to live and pursue. So I'm going to be, for my, or where I see myself in life, I'm going to have um, my dream home. I'm going to have my dream cars, plural cars, um, with a God-fearing husband and beautiful kids. That's where I see myself in life. If you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. So don't even... I don't want to hear, oh my gosh, no, that's so, like, off, outreach, like, so far off, like, no, my life, my goals. Ah. Yo, I'm not even going to lie, like, how do you guys use this to crack it? I don't understand how you guys use this. Stand, I don't understand, bitch, I don't understand. Yo. Mm -mm. I feel like I'm gonna break my teeth. If you don't put eggs in your seafood oil, what are you doing? Alright. Is it really a seafood boil if you don't have eggs in the boil? Like, come on now. Mm. Mm hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. You gotta drench it in the sauce. Ooh, honey, honey! I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating. Okay, that, that didn't work out. You have to see me, right? Like, I don't know, like this window. Anyways, okay, um. Next question, what is something you want to accomplish this year? So I have a lot I want to accomplish this year. I have a few things I want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Potato tastes weird. Anyways, I gotta eat my crab. 
Mm -hmm. It's so hard to eat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Back to the question. What is something you want to accomplish this year? So, I was saying I have a few things I want to accomplish this year, but if I had to pick one thing, I'll say financial liter literacy. Next question. Um, did you always know you wanted to do makeup? So, no, I didn't always know you I wanted to do makeup. It was kind of like, um, just was playing around with it. Like, I was practicing on myself. And then I went to do this challenge. I don't know if you guys remember this challenge. The challenge, it was the, the no rush challenge. When you, like, you put the, um, you put the makeup brush, like, in the camera like this. And then you do, like, the, the transition, like, which you, like, full beat, like, makeup. And you, like, all dress. That's how I got into it. Like, I went to participate in the, um, in the no rush challenge. And I didn't know anything about makeup. Like, I didn't know how to do anything. So I just tried it and it looked really good. And people was like, girl, like, who did your makeup? And I'm like, uh, me? So kind of had like a hidden talent, I guess you would say. But like how I really, oh, never mind. That's, an, that's, that's the next question. That's the next question. <laughs> Finally, finally. Mmm, mm, so good and tasty. Mm, mm. Oh, that's all that was in there, y'all. Mm -mm. Crab is good and all, but like having to do all this work just to eat it is annoying. Anyways, <clears throat> next next question: What do you like to do on your free time? On my free time, I like to read. I like to learn new skills, um, create content, um, go on nature walks, and watch movies. Yeah. Uh -uh, let me give this. Let me give this. Let me give, let me give this crab a break because I'm getting annoyed. I'm just gonna eat my shrimp for now. For sure, get right on. This food is so good, but like it's so messy to eat. Like, wow. I thought wings was messy to eat. No, seafood is messy to eat. Mm. Okay, next question. Oh, it's a little too bright. Then, how are you doing? I'm doing well by the grace of God. Thank you for asking. Whoever asked that, thank you for asking. And how are you? How's your. I can't complain, honestly. But what about you? How are you doing? Okay, so someone asked, what made you want to become an entrepreneur? And I said, what made me want to become an entrepreneur was amazing opportunities that it came with, which is financial freedom, um, having control of your life, and being able to like do what you want to do at any given time of the day like you don't have to be worried about clocking in like oh I have, I'm stuck here for like eight hours but I really want to go out and go for a walk you know what I'm saying so yeah and um and like we live in a day that so many resources and outlets to make money to become like financially free so it's like no it's like why not like go big or go home right like we only have one life to live so yeah but I'm not, like, to be, I'm sure I'm not a full-time entrepreneur just yet. But I'm working towards it this year. And so I can be able to quit my job and just, like, fully focus on my um, projects. YouTube, um, makeup, like, everything along those lines. So, yeah. 
Okay. So someone asked, how's the business going? My business is going good. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm going to link my, my uh, makeup page down below for you guys. Check it out. Oh my gosh. Let me try this one again. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't. Okay. Do I'm trying to figure out how you guys break. It worked. Okay. It worked, y'all. But it worked, but I had to do a little bit more work. I have to do a little bit more work, so yeah. Okay, let me sit back. Like, I feel like I'm just going to go. I really wish it would um crack these crabs for us, but this is too much. Really. It says my camera is overheating. Okay, y'all, uh, I'm back. So, next question. Do you have any fragrance tips? So, I do have some fragrance tips, and thank you because you just gave me a compliment. Um, okay. So, I said fragrance tips. I have five fragrance tips for you guys. Make sure you're freshly showered first. You don't want to put any spray. You don't want to put anything on your body if it's not clean. And second, apply the same type of scent first thing out in the shower. So what I mean by that is if you use a vanilla scented body wash, make sure you spray um, body spray, a vanilla scented body spray fresh out the shower. And then I said moisturize your skin well before applying any perfumes, like anything like Make sure your skin is like moisturized before you put anything like smell good on your body. That makes sense. So th what this does, this allows the perfume to stick on your skin more because it's not going on like directly dry skin. You know what I mean? Like your skin is moisturized and the scent is, is able to like like stay on your skin longer. Like it grips it up. Grips it up. I don't think that made any sense. <laughs> Fourth tip layer your scents so this is what i meant like if you um use a vanilla scented body wash in the shower use a vanilla scent uh body spray and then a vanilla scent um <clears throat> perfume but perfume don't really matter but like mostly the lotion the lotion body oil and body spray but the perfume it could be like anything any scent you want but make sure it kind of has like a similar scent undertone like it has vanilla notes inside of it so yeah and then this is like tip ever I've been waiting for so like the areas you apply perfume you don't apply perfume like no you don't apply perfume like that you apply perfume on your pressure points you apply perfume behind your ears you apply perfume right here your um collarbones your chest uh, your wrists behind the knees and put your arm behind the knees if you're wearing a dress or a skirt and um, the back of your neck the back of your neck too so that's all the so that's all the areas you would apply perfume so it could like make a whole scent bubble around you y'all I'm cool Damn, little lady. Well, that was fun. But I don't think I'm gonna order crabs anymore, y'all. This is too much work. So y'all, y'all, y'all went crazy with the questions. I have a lot of questions to answer, so let me go through them before um I finish eating my seafood boil.
Yeah, I should have got some floss. Anyways, okay, so next question. Why do you choose to follow Christ? Why do I choose to follow Christ? Because he chose us first. He loved us first. And I just feel so, so guilty if I don't follow my creator, my father. Like, he does so much. It's not even about, like, what he does for me. It's because of who he is. He's our creator. He's our father. He's our peace. These are everything, you know? That's why I really choose to follow him because of these are everything. Like he puts breath in my lungs. So why 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 would I not follow him? And it's like he'll never forsake us. Y'all my camera just shut off because it was getting too hot. It was getting too hot. Artist. What motivated me to become a makeup artist was um this one YouTuber. Her name is Lachey Glams. She's a big makeup artist in Miami. And like, she's she's the one that really motivated me cause, cause just seeing her work and um, like where she came from and like, we're in, the, we're in the same like. Next question, what made you want to start doing makeup? Okay, I already answered that. What made you want to start doing content? Oh, because I was, to be honest, I was just curious. I was like, I see people on TikTok doing this. Let me see how to, like, how to actually do this. Like, how does it feel to actually do it, so. So, yeah, that's how, that's how I got started. Like, I was just curious and I just went for it. And then, I ended up liking it. I was like, oh shoot, I like this. This is fun. Okay, um, next question. What is something that motivates you to keep going? Just the... I don't think this is a really good question. I'll say just my future. Like, because I, I have it in my heart that my future is going to be bright. I know my future is going to be bright. So that's what really keeps me going. Just like my future... My future family like just the just the peace i'll experience when i make it honestly that's what really keeps me going like the bigger picture is like you're doing this for a bigger cause you're not just doing this for um anybody else you know okay um next question how can i get into my soft girl era tips etc i'm actually gonna make this into a video because I want to actually like break it down, be detailed for you guys, but a few tips I would say is be able to receive, like to be in your soft girl area, to be in your soft girl era, you must be able to receive, like people open the door for you, or like give you a compliment, and say thank you, you know, like don't be like, oh I got it like myself, like no girl, no, that's not soft, that's rough. <laughs> That is rough. That is rough girl era. But yeah, I'm gonna that's just a few tips I have to give you ladies, but I'm gonna be making a video on that topic real soon. Okay, um next question. How does it feel to be the oldest girl? Um at times it is kinda overwhelming. But I love it. I like it. I am done because my sister is gonna kill me. She's, she's gonna be like, you didn't leave me anything? You leave me anything? And I need to hurry up. So with this video, cause my camera about to die. Got two minutes. Be this alone. Okay, um, how old are you? How old do I look? How old do I look? <laughs> I'm kidding, but I'm 21, y'all. I am 21. Um, how are you mentally? Mentally, it kind of goes up and down, I'm not going to lie, but I serve a mighty God, a good God, an awesome God. So, I don't stay down, I don't stay down for long. To yourself in 10 years, successful. I don't really want to dive into much into that. I just want to put into action. I don't want to talk, like, I don't want to talk about it. I want to put into action. Okay, what drives you the most? Um, that was very similar to the other question, what motivates you? Um, so I'm going to skip that question. What motivated you to start YouTube? I always wanted to start YouTube, but I was just always so like shy and worried about what other people was going to think about me, but who cares now? Like, I'm grown, and we, got, we only got one life to live, so just remember that 
you're the prize. Like, no. Remember, life is short. Like, if you have an idea, if you want to achieve something, just go for it. Like, the worst thing that can happen is you're going to fail, but you're going to have that sense of peace that it's okay it didn't work out, but at least I tried it. Like, you don't, you won't be regretful of not going after what you wanted to do. And what keeps you motivated? Um, my family. Family, um, yeah, just being able to, what's the word, being able to allow them to experience the luxuries in life, you know. Y'all, my camera died, so I'm filming on my phone right now. Please excuse the quality, but that pretty much concludes the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know how I did for my first Q&A slash thing. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Have a blessed day.